<clears throat> I don't even know what day it is. I think it's day 10 of my ruckus. Radical unapologetic healing challenge for us. The past couple of days, my updates have just been very, you know, today's a good day. So I got some truth for today that is kind of difficult for me to really tell. But I'm going to tell it. The past three years of my life have been so wrapped up in my relationship that I forgot me. And not at all to minimize the beauty of the love. But never will your any relationship end and your life end. And so while my emotions um, and my response was very valid based on the fact that I was in love and um, and you know all of this came out of nowhere to me and and that my heart was broken that doesn't excuse the fact that um, when the relationship ended because our lives were so intertwined I had to remember me right so he still had like a life and my world just became his world i want to be in a healthy relationship where our worlds obviously are connected i believe in marriage in the sense that to become one but i think that girlfriends shouldn't become one with somebody that is not their husband and further i think that um even even when I'm married, I want to be in a healthy relationship where we both have equally given portions of ourselves um, or sacrificed portions of ourselves. So there's a lot of stuff that, and not, not like the same his fault, these were choices that I made. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I sacrificed of myself because, um, here's an example. When we would get ready to go out to eat, we would... Um, he would be like, you know, what do you want to eat? And I would say something and he would, he might say, you know, I don't, I don't really like eating there. I don't want to eat there tonight. I'll take you there to get what you want to eat. And then I'm going to go, you know, wherever it is that I'm going to go get something to eat. And I would be like, that's okay. I'll go wherever it is that you're going. Um, not because I was just being passive or because he was demanding that because that's not the kind of guy that he is. He wasn't, it was just a matter of me being okay with the fact that I'm going to eat Chipotle and you're going to eat Subway. Why do I have to go eat Subway? You know, that's, those are choices that I made for myself. And it's, it doesn't make any sense, but that's just one small example of how I would, um, the way that I made it make sense in my mind then was, uh, I don't want to, I don't want us to eat separately. I want us to eat, you know, we can sit down and eat together, whatever. But really, like, small things like that turned into, like, larger compromises on my end where, um, you know, I would go to all of his stuff. And then, not that he wouldn't come to my stuff, but my stuff just stopped existing. I am telling my business today. That sucks to really be honest about that. So, and again, I don't blame any of that on him. Those, those were choices that I made. And even, you know, I can't, I can't, definitely can't blame him for that because I can remember a multiplicity of occasions um, of him telling me or asking me, you know, what do you want to do? And me just being too lazy to, you know, it would just, it was just easier to do his stuff. <laughs> so that hurt today I gotta really really you know deal with that that's something that I'm gonna be praying about for God to heal me in that area and help me to forgive myself for losing myself but that's this mission you know is in remembering literally putting my members back together and I know that that will only happen in God so I'm asking him to put me back together remember me. That just happened to your life. Negro spirituals are necessary when you're trying to heal. When you're trying to radically heal 
you need to sing a Negro spiritual. Whoa, back, buck, whoa. It's too late. I got schoolwork to do. It's day 10 or whatever day it is.